This garden in the British county of Derbyshire is the heart of Gavin Munro's craft. The designer shapes trees during their growth to create unique pieces of furniture. Some are more suitable to be a, a chair back. Some where there's a little bit more space, like this one here, this could fill out to become a table. Um, yeah, it's sort of looking for patterns. Without sawing planks or gluing wood, Gavin harvests his tables and chairs straight from the field. It's a childhood dream come true. The first sort of seed was sown when I was a little boy and um, my mum had bonsai trees out the backyard and um, one of them had overgrown, looked a little bit like a, a throne and it was sort of one of those, you know, those images that stick in your head and stay there. It was one of those and I don't know, it's, it's something I've sort of slowly been thinking about for a while. And here's the result. 400 pieces of self-growing furniture. And as a trained carpenter, he knows a few tricks, like using wires and plastic frames to mold the trees into shape. He even grows mirror frames and lampshades. Willow is a particularly good wood to work with. After it's harvested, the furniture needs to dry out for around a year. Then Gavin gives them the final touch in his workshop. The creations are all one of a kind, because no two trees ever grow exactly the same way. It started out as a kind of art project, let's make a few things, see what we can do, and it's really starting to become an actual manufacturing process and system that's repeatable and scalable. So it's, um, yeah, it's all of these things. It's kind of art and design and horticulture and all mixed into one. Gavin's first table was ready to harvest in January, 10 years after it was planted. <laughs> but he's completely changed his methods since then, especially for chairs. So actually what we do is we now grow these upside down. So you come in here, spread out along the chair and then go off so you have one to two to four legs. This process only takes five years, depending on the type of tree. Gavin and his colleagues planted these willows in 2012. The crucial moment has arrived. They're removing the frames to see their first upside down chair of the series. Oh my God. <laughs> wow, we really have waited years for this. That's really sturdy compared to what I thought it was going to be. This winter now, what we're going to do is um, we're going to graft these together, graft everything else together, and then let it thicken. So here you can see we've already started down this side, and you can see how it's all grafted together. Many pieces have already been sold in advance. The lampshades are worth over 1,000 euros each. Chairs cost up to five times as much. But Gavin hopes his production methods will gain long-term popularity in the industry. This would allow prices to come down. Now we've got the kind of basic framework of how to do this on, on mass. So yes, this can scale and work anywhere where tr trees can grow, but all over the world. So it's viable, as viable in the north of Scotland as it is on the equator. The first full-grown designer chairs are set to be ready next year. Until then, Gavin Munro will have to fall back on more conventional products when taking a break from work. <laughs>